Okay, so I found my way back to this locked door, which is in the, uh, this room. Didn't want to do that. Well, shit. Okay, looks like I'm doing this again. The third time. Oh, come on, man. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm pretty sure you know what room it's in now, so... Okay, now let's go through the locked door, finally. Okay, so now we're in this room with some tektites, thank you, and uh, this very peculiar red crystal switch. Uh, if we hit the switch, it turns blue and the water level rises. So do those statues that are in, the, in this room, which, lo and behold, have uh, hookshot targets on them. So basically, you're just going to want to switch between hitting the target and... I mean, hitting the crystal switch, and then going to the target, then hitting the crystal switch again, and then going to the next target, and so on. Um, at least I'm pretty sure that's how this room works. Uh, let's see. That yeah. So you're gonna want to you're gonna want to hit that switch again. If you can, jeez, if you can aim at it. There we go. It takes precision aiming, and then go to that. Um, target over there. Come on, man. And then climb on top of this statue's head. <clears throat> and then I think you need you can go ahead and hit the switch one more time. And then there should be a target right there. Yep, on that statue. And so, one more time should do it. Hitting the switch, turning it to red making the statue come down. That way you can climb on it, and then one last time you hit the switch. This room, compared to the rest of the water temple, is a cakewalk. So be thankful for what you're getting, um, because that's pretty much the only easy part of this dungeon. Um, over there, of course, we have a like-like. Um, it's a very good idea to take preventative measures against it, so toss a few bombs at it. That's a really good idea. Especially since you can't really get close to him because he's behind some spikes. Not a big deal. Um, unless you don't have bombs, in, in which case you're, you're fucked. Um, but uh, I believe we have a mini boss coming up. So, yep. Alright, this is the Water Temple's one redeeming factor. This room. As you can see, it's a wide open space. Um, if you go far enough, though, you'll you'll notice that there there's an invisible wall. You can actually roll into it too. Um, but and there's a, only a single tree here. Pay careful attention to Link's reflection. It's now gone. <laughs> Once you step on this island, Link's reflection is gone. Of course, there's bars on this door here, and when you look back, you see something kind of odd next to that tree. Let's go check it out. And this is the mini boss of the Water Temple. It is Dark Amen, Conquer Yourself. Yeah, this is perhaps the most interesting boss in any Zelda game, and I really love this mini boss. Um, He's a piece of cake if you have the bigger on sword. Okay, so basically this is this is his his deal. If you if you swing your sword, he swings your sword. Uh, normally with the master sword, when you swing the sword, he counters with his own master sword. Luckily, Dark on Men does not have a bigger on sword. So if you use the bigger on sword, you can um, get in some hits on him quite easily. Uh, not to mention the bigger on sword also does increase damage. So. This guy is a piece of cake. With the Master Sword, he's a little bit harder, but still not so hard. Um, alternatives you can use besides the Big Ron Sword are the Megaton Hammer, because of course Dark on oh Man doesn't have the Megaton Hammer either. Um, but yeah, no big deal. And once you defeat him, you can see the true room. It's just a big fat room. <laughs> it's not really a wide open area. 
Okay, and in here we have the item of the dungeon. Oh yeah! The dungeon of the item. You found the long shot. It's an upgraded hook shot. It extends twice as far. Yes, this will be. This actually replaces the hook shot, so no need to worry about switching out your inventory or whatever. Um, yes, this is. This will be very useful. I can't remember the song of time. <laughs> it's hard. To, it's hard to play the ocarina and talk at the same time. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, song of time. We'll get rid of this blue block thing. Or I thought it would. Maybe you can't stand on top of it while you do it. <laughs> For obvious reasons, I guess. Um, but the long shot is very helpful because now we can reach those targets that were too far for us and um, now we don't have to stand as close to targets as we used to um, in order to in order to get them uh, this is also quite a cool room oh, come on Navi I'm men be careful don't get swallowed by the vortex heads okay I won't this is a cool room it's, it just reminds me of the Goonies every time I every time I go through this part, but it's like an underground river. Um, thing is, there's vortexes that can swallow you up, and if they do, I believe you go back to the entrance of the dungeon. So that's that's not very good at all. So be very careful not to get swallowed by these vortexes. Otherwise, it, I don't know what to tell you. It just sucks, man. I'm pretty sure it takes you to the entrance of the water temple, but I'm not. I'm not 100% positive, so don't quote me on that. Uh, how the hell am I supposed to get that Sculptula? Oh wait, I know, I know, I know, I know. Go over here. No, shit! Come on, you can do it, I'm in. I believe in you. You just gotta spam B, okay? You can do it. Come on, man. Alright, I don't think there's any way out. Oh, Jesus. Help me, God. There we go. Oh, it only takes you back here. That's not bad. Okay, so let's just go back down. So we debunked the myth that it takes you back to the entrance. Um, but I'm going to put on my iron boots because that's actually how you get the Sculptula. And uh, while I'm in the Water Temple, I'm, I'm going to try not to miss any of the Sculptulas in here because I never want to come back here again. So I'm just going to get all the Sculptulas while I'm here. Just, come on, man, what the fuck? Do I, is that really necessary? Think about it. Okay. Oh, I went the wrong way. Shit, 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 shit. I just gotta accept my fate. Alright, now it's Iron Boots time. Time for the boots. You gotta put on the Iron Boots to get the... To get the... Booty. Why wouldn't my long shot? <laughs> okay, I couldn't use my long shot there for, for a little while. It was weird. Okay, um. Now I'm gonna take them off because I believe it's actually harder to do this with the iron boots, uh, which is kind of weird, but you know. Okay, come on, don't get sucked in. Don't get sucked in. You got this. Uh, if you can, try to get to this platform. No! Oh, dude! What the hell? Come on, you can do it, oh man, I believe in you. You can swim faster than Michael Phelps. Okay. Uh, if you can, get to this platform here. I'm actually going to catch this fairy because I don't have any and I'm, I might need one pretty soon. Um, try to get this platform and then use your hook shot to... Yeah, this, use your long shot to get over here uh, on this target. If you can hit it, jeez. Come on, man. I'm sick of tired of playing around. Okay. And then you can end up on this little platform here. Uh. And then I don't. Oh, there's an eye switch. Okay. And that'll open the gate. And you gotta use your hook shot to hook to that chest, cause you can't can't get there on foot, so. You gotta use other means, and we get a small key! Yay! Oh, this is a snake room. I like I like the, the shape of that map. It's nice. And with that, we find ourselves in this dragon room once again. And uh, 
Now we can go to that room that we needed a small key to get into, and we also needed the long shot to get into. So, in the next episode, we'll go to that room and explore even more. See you then.